In this video, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of how to use GoodNotes 4 and how I take notes with this app. So first, we're going to open up GoodNotes and you can see that I have a whole bunch of notebooks open and under a category called uncategorized. So if I want to look at all my category, categories for organization, you click categories up here and you can see I have three categories, uncategorized, YouTube, and trash. So let's go ahead and add a new category and let's call it YouTube 2. You can also create a master category over here. We'll call it sample. And within the master category, you can add more categories. So I like to think of master categories as binders and then the categories within the master category as subjects. Or you can think of it if you are a student, you can call consider the master category to be like your freshman year or your sophomore year. And then those categories within the master categories can be all your different subjects. But for now, let's just click on YouTube too and let's create a new notebook. So what you can see is you can first decide to either import a document from all of these different options, or you can just create your own notebook. So let's just create our own. And you can change the cover. There are a whole bunch of different covers to choose from. Personally, I don't really care too much about the cover. Um, so I just always go with simple. We'll click simple blue. And you can choose what type of paper you want to start with. So I'm going to choose medium ruled paper. Now the good thing about GoodNotes 4 is that you don't have to worry about what paper settings you start with because you can always change them later on and each page can have a different style. You can even change the paper orientation for each page in your notebook. Um, so if you click on essentials here, you can see that I can have landscape paper or portrait paper. And since I do have the tablet in landscape mode right now, I am going to click on landscape ruled paper and we'll name the, the notebook sample and we'll create it. So here you can see that I have um, the cover, which is a portrait in portrait orientation, which is why I have these gray bars on the side. But if I go to my first page, you can see that now I'm in landscape and I have smaller gray bars on the side. Now, just like many other note taking applications, you have your standard pen tool where you can choose between either having um, a fountain pen or a ball pen. I personally prefer the fountain pen, so we'll leave it at that. And you have these standard colors that you can choose from and these standard um, thicknesses, but you can also choose on custom for more custom um, options and you can also save them as you wish. So I can click um, enter my own color or thickness or just use the slider here to change my thickness or use the palette here to change my color. And then if you really want, you can add your own color here. So if I really like this color, I can add it there for easy access. So let's look at the pen tool and let's start writing. Now you'll notice this is very similar to many other note taking applications where you can just start writing with the stylus or an Apple pencil. Um, the, what's different about GoodNotes 4 from other apps like Notability is that there is no vertical scrolling, there's only horizontal scrolling. So if I want a new page, I have to scroll to the right and then I'll have a new page. And I can scroll back to the left to go back to my previous page. There's also highlighters here. You can see that the um, highlighter has um, a certain number of preset colors, but again, you can add your own as you go along. And you can choose the different thicknesses as well so that you can start highlighting. Then you have an eraser, which when you erase and let go, it automatically goes back to the tool you were using previously. So in this case, it went back to the highlighter. Then you have your standard lasso tool where you can select, in this case, you can choose what you want the lasso to, to select. So it lets you select handwriting, images, and text boxes. So I can select that and move it around. Then you have the no pen tool where you are only supposed to be using your finger so that you don't accidentally make any marks if you're just reading through one of your documents. So my, right now my stylus, my Apple Pencil will not be making any marks on my note. Now on the left here, you can view all your thumbnails, as you can see here. You can create bookmarks down here to go to certain pages in your notes and you can have something called PDF outlines, which I personally have never actually used, um, but it is an option if you want it. 
You can also add some standard features like an image, a uh, bookmark like I mentioned, a text box, a page above, a page below, and then you can import documents as well. GoodNotes also has an ink to shape feature. So when you turn that on and I draw a shape, it'll make it into a nicer looking shape for you. So I can draw a circle or an oval, I suppose in that case, let's try again. That's more of a circle. Um, I can draw a diamond and let's try a hexagon. Close enough. So this is pretty good. I love ink to shape. If you want to draw a straight line, this is the way to do it. You just draw a line and it'll make it straight for you. But you do have to have the ink to shape feature on. And if you do leave it on when you're writing, it will make all your letters look like shapes. Now, a really neat feature about GoodNotes is that it has handwriting recognition. So if I want to write, hello, how are you? So I didn't write terribly neat, I just kind of rushed it, but if I select it with the lasso here and I click on it, you can see there's a button over here called convert. So I click convert and now it's converted it to text. Hello, how are you? So you can take that, you can copy the text and you can hold down, oops, you can hold down and click paste and now you have the handwriting as text. So you can change the text here by changing the font, by changing the size, bolding, uh, centering, moving it to the left or lining it to the right, and by changing the background color of the text box, the border color of the text box, etc. So there are plenty of options you can mess around with with the text box itself. There's also some um, options over here where you can calibrate your um, writing posture you can change the paper template. So for this particular page, if I don't want it to be in landscape anymore, if I want it to be in portrait, I can click it here. And now I'm in portrait. But notice my next page is still in landscape. So this is a really neat feature. You can have pages in all different types of templates in the same notebook. Um, they don't all have to be uniform, which is very neat. Also, there's this neat um, a uh, button over here. So if you notice, if I get close enough to the bottom, my hand is no longer on the screen and it's kind of an awkward position. So if I have this button up, I can actually scroll vertically and I can move this down so that when I get to the bottom of the page, I can rest my hand on the screen and more easily write. Since GoodNotes does not have vertical scrolling, this is sort of like adding vertical scrolling to your page. Um, and it's a really nice feature that way. But if you do want to get to your next page, you still will have to swipe to the left or to the right. Lastly, I'm just going to go over some of the ways you can import documents and how you can export your notes as well. As you may recall, when I clicked the plus button, there was an import above and an import below. So let's click import below. And you can see there are a whole different options where I can import from. So let's import from iCloud Drive. We'll select the same PDF I've used before. And now you can see that this PDF is inside my sample note. Since no, uh, GoodNotes 4 does support handwriting recognition, if I want to search my notes by clicking on this button over here and then clicking on search, I'm going to type in U and you'll see that it's highlighted where I've written U. So it can actually recognize my handwriting, which is an amazing feature. Let's try another word. I have start written over here. So if I type start, you can see that it also highlighted the word because it recognized my handwriting. So this is again, a really useful feature. Now something GoodNotes doesn't have is audio recording, which is a bummer. And I think it should, it's a pretty basic feature that many note taking, note taking apps have, um, but GoodNotes 4 doesn't have it. So hopefully by GoodNotes 5, we'll see something, um, some annotating tracking audio recording like Notability offers. And one more other feature that I want to point out is that you can have multiple notes open at the same time in a tab format. So you can see here I have MCAT physics open here and my sample notebook open, open over here. And just for fun, let's go to my uncategorized category and let's open up this PowerPoint. And you can see it just keeps adding it as a tab. 
And if I no longer want it open, I can just click the X and it goes away. So that's a really great feature. Another feature that I want to touch upon is the fact that you do have, um, you can add text pretty easily, but you can only add it as a text box. So you can either click plus here and text box, or you can hold down and click text. And then you can add the text as you want. And then you can move your text box around by holding it down, clicking edit, and then moving the box, resizing the box, changing the background like we did before, and many more options. Another very handy feature is the zoom feature that other note taking apps also offer like Notability. You hold down and you click on the zoom and you can see it's zooming in on a certain area so that it's more easy to write. Now this really comes in handy when you are in split view. So if I want to open up Safari on the side, You can see that now I don't have much space to write, so I can open up the zoom box and as I write, it'll track my handwriting. Now just some other quick features that I want to go over are inserting images. So you can just click image here and you can insert it from a whole bunch of different options. It's also very easy to insert images into your GoodNotes. Um, application so you can just go on any web browser select an image and drag and drop it as you want or if you want you can also click the plus button here click image and then insert an image from your photos from iCloud Google Drive etc and if you want to export your note you can just click on these three uh, circles on the side click on export you can export just one page or the whole note book, and I'm gonna export all pages here. And then you can choose what background you wanna keep. I'm gonna say remove background color. You can export it as a PDF, as a GoodNotes document, or as an image. And you can choose whether you want your handwriting annotations to be there on the PDF that you export or not. Um, and then you click export, and then you can choose where you wanna export it to um, and you can click external apps, then you can even airdrop it or send it to any other app or copy and paste it, save to files, print it, etc. So it's very easy to do. That's going to wrap up how I use GoodNotes for taking notes. Hopefully this was helpful and I hope that you enjoyed it.